Hello everybody, welcome to another video, and today I wanted to talk about the announcement of PlayStation Now. Sony finally announced their plans for um, their version of Gaikai, because they purchased Gaikai last year, or I guess two years ago technically, and it's called PlayStation Now. It's going to have a wide variety of PlayStation games for the PS4, PS3, Vita, I don't know what they mean by TV, tablets, and smartphones. Are you going to be able to, like, apparently you're going to be able to play these games on your tablets and smartphones, which I don't understand because how the hell are you going to play some of these games on tablets and smartphones? Are some of the games going to be designated for mobile devices specifically? Uh, or are all the games going to be available on all the devices? I mean, that's crazy to me. Apparently, it's not going to be tied into your... Uh, PlayStation Plus uh, subscription at all, it's actually going to have two ways to pay for. One, you're going to be able to rent games individually, or you're going to be able to pay a subscription fee to give you access to all the games that they allow to be streamed. Um, it is going to be opening up in closed beta in the US at the end of this month, and uh, it's going to be opened up more by the end of the summer, but they have no announcement as to when it will be available in Europe because they said that uh, internet service providers over there are very different. They're all different all across uh, and country to country. So they need time to kind of smooth out the launch, which I understand it is a lot, you know, a lot worse over there in terms of like bandwidth caps and all those issues. So unfortunately for my friends across the pond, you might not get it for a while, which is okay because I believe they said it was only, wasn't going to be until 2015 for them. I'm not exactly sure. I don't remember off the top of my head. But 2014, end of summer for the U.S., it looks like it's going to be really cool. I mean, it depends on how it's implemented. If the game's really laggy, that would really, really suck. So they've got to have some way to make it a smooth and seamless experience. And I, I hope to God they do because this would be the coolest subscription-based gaming thing ever. I mean, it would be really awesome. Let me know what you guys would do. Would you guys pay a subscription for this? And if so, what is the maximum you would pay yearly for a service like this? Leave me a comment below. Let me know. I'm really excited. I'd probably pay as much as the PlayStation Plus, you know, I would think. Um, anyway, that's it for right now, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you guys later.